Hey, Pastor Shagun, I call you a cousin. Baoni. Hey, Pastor Shagun, can you hear me? Am I on mute? No, I'm not. All right. Uh, we're trying to get to, to today, our second day of our week, and uh, we're back praying. And I was just thinking about what to share, you know, to pray. And what came to my mind, which is still probably tied to our rich woman, Ashina, which we talked about last week. And uh, we can probably still dig a bit more into it because it's, for me, it's something that is very present for me as part of the journey that God is taking me to. It's my present address. You know, in God's uh, journey uh, or pilgrimage in my life, you know, is that place the woman's child was dead and she needed a solution and she knew where to go to. It was going to God, but God yet represented by Elisha, Elisha, you know. And first of all, she didn't waste the time going elsewhere. Right? Came in to go to God. And in going to God, she avoided distraction. When she got to God, you saw that she held on to the feet of a prophet. You know, and, and that typifies for us a place of prayer, right? That reminds us of uh, someone, uh, Jacob. The Bible says that he, he, he released his family and he was alone with God. He was alone with God. You know, prayer is a place of being alone with God. It's not as much as the prayer we pray with others that change our life. It's the prayer we're able to pray one-on-one -on -one with God. That's a place of encounter. That's a place where destinies are changed, right? So even though we're here praying together, when we begin in a place of prayer, it's me and God. And maybe that's why for us here, uh, not because we want to be different, but because that's just the way the Holy Spirit put it in my heart. You know, we come and here, we give an opportunity for people to pour out their heart before God. And that could be anything, right? When you're not restricted to where you're pouring your heart before God. You could be praying for yourself. You could be praying for a family member. You could be praying for the nation. You could be praying for your church. Whatsoever the Holy Spirit burdens your heart with, you know, we just give this time as an opportunity to just pour out, release. You know, the, 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 the uh, release your heart before God, release the pressure, release the uh, seeming, uh, how do I put it now, that which is holding to your heart, that which is the place that the Holy Spirit is bending your heart towards, right? And that might be different for each one of us uh, uh, part time, right? Sometimes I come here and I'm praying about myself. I mean, yesterday I was praying about my farm, you know, being the fact that it was a day we we're breaking the ground for the poultry. I was praying mm -hmm. for the poultry, you know, I was praying for, for the work to be done. I was picking mysteries concerning the poultry. I was had designs in my head. I mean, I was thinking about those designs. I was praying. I was praying over those designs yesterday. You know, I was praying towards the, the beginning and the end of the, of the poultry. You know, mm -hmm. that's what I was doing part-time. For someone mm -hmm. else's you know, whatever it is, right? Prayer is not a check the box. It's a place where we want to come to change our destiny and the destinies of others, right? So this 30 minutes is not a check the box for me, and I hope it's not for you also. It's a time when we make definite impact for our life and for the life of others and those related to us or any other person that God might bring in our way into our mind. So let's go pray. We'll continue after le <laughs> katada <laughs> 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hope you feel it yourself. You know, it's, it's a good thing to come into his presence and pray. You know, as we're sharing earlier on, it's a place of warfare. You know, David was saying, the Lord teaches my hands to war. What he's saying there is he teaches my hand to pray. See, in our own place, uh, we, we're not talking about physical warfare. We don't war with people in, in the physical realm. Apostle Paul, uh, Paul began to write to the Corinthian church, uh, 2 Corinthians, I believe that's chapter 10, verse 5. It begins, to, is it 10? 5, thereabout. It talks about that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. <laughs> You see, it's not, they're not canal. It's not about having a squad missile, having nuclear war weapon. It's about being mighty through God. It's not mighty through ourselves. It's mighty through God. <laughs> it's mighty through God. And that's a place of prayer. We can change destinies. We can change nations. We can change anything we want to change because we have a power that is mighty through God. And that's prayer. That's a place of intercession. That's a place of standing in the gap. Mm. Right? That's what prayer is all about. It's really what we pray here in the Holy Spirit, right? We're interceding. The Apostle Paul began to write to the Roman church that, that the Holy Spirit begins to speak in groanings, right? That's beyond human comprehension. But he's speaking the mind of God. He's speaking the will of God, Right? That's why they, they began to, the Jude began to write also that you yourself in your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. The Apostle Paul began to write also in chapter says the praying, watching and praying for all sins, right? In the Spirit, right? All of that saying, talking about the place of intercession, the place of standing in the gap. I mean, every day we come here Monday to Friday, that's what we're doing. Right, we're standing in the gap, we're standing in the place of our calling. Right, Christ made us on, onto our God, kings and priests, a kingdom of priests, kings and priests. As kings, we declare, right, that we declare, right, and 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 we declare, and our declaration is powerful, not in our own strength, though, but through God. Right, the, 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 there is there is the shout of the king inside of us. There is a shout of the Holy Ghost inside of us. There's a shout of God inside of us, so we can make declarations and know that it will come to pass. Not because that the one saying it, but because of who we are. Who we are? It becomes who we are. We have power through God. Right, as priests, we stand in the gap and pray to change destinies. Pray to be so Right, that's a point to be so for the as a place as priest. Right, we are the light of the world, also. Right, we are praying that things will be changed. We are praying that God will be made manifest, that the knowledge of God will not be erased from people. Fear of God will not be taken away from people. That's what we do when we come together to pray. Right, I mean, it's not that we're just going to pray for ourselves. We will pray for ourselves for the five times a week, a week. you were exhausted. You're boring to your own stuff also, right? But it's not to say that you don't pray for yourself. You are important, right? But whatever it is that the Holy Spirit places on your heart, right? Whatsoever it is that is burdening you also, don't even wait for the Holy Spirit. You don't have to wait for the Holy Spirit to put something in your heart. If you have a burden, that's a, re a reason to pray, right? If you have a burden, that is a reason to pray. That's a prayer point already. Right, a body is not to be worried about and to be carried. Right, Jesus Christ says, Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. The way we carry the form is by prayer, is by laying it on his feet. First Peter chapter 5 verse 7 says, Cast your fears upon me because I can I cast your fear cares me because he cares about you. He cares about us. The only way we're going to be able to cast our cares upon him is in the place of prayer. That is the way to victory. That's the way to overcome it in this life. That's the way to cause that it will lead us in triumphant procession. That is the way by which the aroma of who we belong to will be spread abroad wherever we find ourselves. Right? So that's the reason why we come together. That's the reason why we pray. Right? 
and you know, let's have that as we come. You know, it's not a it's not a check the box. If you ever have a body, that is a prayer point. Even if you don't have a body, you you want your life to be better. That is a prayer point. You have a goal. That is a prayer point. You you want to be kept. That's a prayer point. Now, if you read something bad in the news, that's a prayer point. Whatever, it, if someone is sick, that is a prayer point. You know, and the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, I'm going to close here. Uh, our time is up. Any last words for anyone? Or you want to just go ahead and close? All right. So we'll meet again tomorrow. Have a good rest of the afternoon. God bless you all. Thanks for coming. Yeah, bless you too. Thank you, sir. Thank yeah. you. Okay. All righty. See you tomorrow. Yeah.